Well, howdy. You're back for another album in it with Jacob Wayne. I appreciate that. Um, this is what sucks. I already did this review, but I forgot to press record when I started. Had the camera up, all that stuff, thinking it's ready to go, and it wasn't going. So I'm just going to, it might feel like I'm reiterating myself a little bit, but it's because I am. But to today, the album I've decided to review is from an artist I don't know. I'm just barely getting to know her through this record. Her name is Casey Hill, and the album is Simple, Sweet, and Smiling. Uh, it is a very smooth, relaxing record. Uh, if you're into 80s pop music, really moody coffee house type stuff, this is going to be an album that's for you. If you're looking for heavy rock or something to really dance your ass off to, this isn't the record. Um, 80s pop music, I have to really emphasize because of so much of the music and textures of it all is very reminiscent of 80s pop. Uh, the snare sound, some of the key um, effects or tones, it, it's filled to the brim with moments of like, oh, I heard that off of like a Tina Turner album or uh, Michael Jackson or something like that. Like a lot of these tones are gonna be very familiar, which makes me curious if they went and found the old synths that were used on those records. I know that was something that happened with uh, Pussifer's most recent record. They went and found a particular keyboard that was used on Michael Jackson records and to kind of recapture that sort of vibe. And that's clearly what's happening on this record. Um, this is one of those pitchfork uh, recommendations, which I'm always half in, half out. Sometimes I'm like, wow, I never would have come across that unless they recommended it. And sometimes I'm like, why are they recommending this? This is one of those where I'm glad they recommended it. Um, but yeah, it seems that with pop music, the 80s thing is coming back a lot right now. And some people maybe don't like that. For me, I'm all about it. Uh, I'm a 90s kid. That's probably where I'm most familiar and comfortable. But that's usually in terms of like rock and roll music and some of the underground stuff at the time. And I do love the pop music of the 90s, but pop music in the 80s is kind of where it's at for me. There's just something about that era that I love. Underground 80s stuff, 80s punk. 80s UK stuff, pop music, it's just all great. So when some of that stuff like reappears in music, I'm all about it. Uh, as far as this record's flow and songs, things like that, no one particular song stood out to me. Um, this is probably a grower album. Um, probably six months from now, I'll start picking out the songs that really connect with me and I'll have more of a visceral reaction. This comes off like one of those records where I'm like drunk and high at like two or three in the morning, just kind of going through old photos or something. And then one song will just come and hit me like a brick. And I'll be like, oh my God, time goes too fast. It's like that. Um, her singing reminds me a lot of Cowboy Junkies. It's very smooth and relaxing and just tonally and melodically, it's something I'm all about. But as I've stated in the last album in it, I'm not a lyrics guy. It takes me a long time to really care or even notice it really. So the only lyric that really stood out to me in particular was something along the lines of like driving. What would it be like to drive with the lights off or something like that? And there are moments that I do remember it kind of sticking out and making me think like, oh, yeah. And uh, according to the Wikipedia entry, I might pull it up if I need to, but just like her last album, which I guess was released last year, uh, this is a lot about self-reflection and appreciation of friends and family, but also battling with kind of like feeling out of place or like being awake in a dream, kind of like I'm just going through the motions kind of vibe. Um, 
She collaborate, collaborated with a few people on this record, one of which is her partner, had kind of an interesting name. Oh, Jim Dash E Stack. So that's her partner. And the other collaborators, while I have it up, are John Carroll Kirby, Ellie Teplin, Ariel Reichshalheid, Reichshalheid, MKG, and Ethan Gruska. So those are the people that helped her out. None of those names stick out to me in particular. But uh, yeah, this is um, this isn't like a sexy album. I'm sure you could get sexy to it if you wanted to, but this is a little more like sipping coffee Sunday afternoon, maybe going through some of your notes or just, you know, lounging. Maybe you smoked half a joint and you're just having a good time. Um, today, I've listened to this album twice now. The first time I did, I had it on in the background while I was doing some gaming with some friends and you know, it's kind of half in, half out. It was nice, but it started to click more with me today. And that's why I'm doing the review. I was walking to the gym and all these autumnal vibes are going on. Beautiful colors. Leaves are flying around. It's a warm day, but it's cool. You know, it's not summer anymore. And I was just strolling, listen, listening to it, watching people go by. And it's like, yeah, this is a perfect record for the fall to me. So, yeah, if you want to make it sexy, get with your partner, snuggle up, have a little pumpkin cookie, some coffee, maybe not coffee breath, maybe just stick with the pumpkin cookie, but then, yeah, get all snuggly. It's this kind of record to me. So with that, I didn't review in my last one. I might as well start doing that in this one. And no reason to fix what isn't broken so i'll just go with the number system this is a 7.5 out of 10 for me and that's just because it's going to take me a while to see if it sticks in the rotation or just ends up being one of those records that i like but don't think about much so it could either shift from a seven to an eight that's what i'm thinking i don't think it's going to drastically go one way or the other beyond that so 7.5 out of 10 Casey Hill, simple, sweet, and smiling. Thanks for checking out another album in it with Jacob Wayne. I'll see you in the next one. And if you've enjoyed these reviews, uh, throw out a suggestion of a new album that's coming out or has just barely come out that you'd like me to review. Um, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Just don't be a dick. And if you dig the videos on this channel, the movie reviews, the album reviews, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like a longer format, check out the Jacob Wayne Show, the podcast that we release every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Like and subscribe, y'all. Talk to you later. Ta-ta!